So today I'm going to show you how to treat sore hocks. So we have Rarity here and I was checking her yesterday whenever I was checking to breed and clipping her nails and I noticed that she had a couple of scabs on her back feet. So I did a little research and it seems that she has sore hocks. So we're going to treat that today so that it doesn't get any worse. And she has been a really good camper so far because um, I also noticed that she had a little mastitis in one of her nipples and so we're going to treat that as well. So if you'll just follow along we're going to show you how we're going to make sure she's taken care of and we'll show you what a sore hawk looks like so you can take care of it on your rabbits. and betadine. We just want to get, make sure we get it, you know, antiseptic, get it as clean as possible. So, you want to um, get that little tub you had, just get the lid. We just want to put the foot in some betadine. Some people just actually soak, soak them in a tub with betadine. We're not going to do that to her because she's been such a good girl. We've already expressed her mammary gland that was really, really in infected and had burst open. So she's already been through quite a bit. So we're just going to, let me see if I can find where it is on this, but it's on her heel. So we're just going to kind of soak her heel with bated iron and this towel is going to be ruined forever. That's okay. I'm just going to soak her foot with some betadine. And she's jumped a little bit, but she's really being pretty good about it. She's a good girl. Now while that one's soaking, we're going to switch over and go ahead and put some on the other foot that we know also has it. And I'm just going to kind of palpate and see where it was so I can make sure that foot yeah, it's right on the heel there too. So this isn't the best optimal way to soak her foot, but we're just trying to make sure we do all the steps to get give her the best chance to get these sores healed up. So, so if you're ever checking your rabbit's feet and they have a scab or a, where the foot pad may the say the fur is thin, then you need to make sure you treat that. I didn't realize that she had them and hers already have a scab so they're in, um, not, they're, they're not bursted open and infected so I caught it pretty early but I wish I'd caught it earlier than I did. But we'll go ahead and rinse the betadine off. Yeah. And we're going to use some sterile saline to do that with. And we've got some sterile gauze, which you may or may not have access to. We're just lucky because... Which it's already been soaked, so you can see... You can see that the scab's here and here. And then we can show you what it looks like unsoaked. She's got a small one right here. Right underneath this toenail, she's got a sore right there, which we'll treat that before we're done. But we're going to do the back ones first. Okay, so Elizabeth's just going to kind of hold her up here, and I'm just going to rinse each paw with about five cc's of sterile saline. You can get bottles of saline at the pharmacy. They'll say sterile saline. You don't have to have individual syringes. We just have a lot of this, so we're going to use it. Sorry, baby girl. And this is another reason it's good to handle your rabbits frequently because she is very calm for us to do this procedure. Uh, some of my other rabbits, if they got this, we probably would not be able to treat them just because they're so, not really wild, but they just would not sit here and allow us to do this. She's being such a good girl. So we got the betadine off of that sore. She's still gonna have a little bit in the, her fur, obviously. We're not gonna worry about that. The main thing we're worried about is the sore. And, you know, I've read up on how they get them, and I, it happens a lot in your Rex breeds because they don't have the foot pad. It also helps in your bigger breeds. And, you know, she is a 12 and a half, 13 pound 
New Zealand, she's a big girl, and so when I, while she was pregnant, because she just lost the litter, she probably didn't move around very much, and then all the weight of her body just caused the sores to occur. Aren't rabbits, don't they more, um, aren't they more likely to put their weight on their toes? No, they're, they're going to get them on their hawks because they sit back on them. Okay, we got the beta dyeing cleaned off really nicely with just that small amount of sterile saline. But like I said, it doesn't have to be sterile saline. If there's a lot of hair on here, which there's not, but if there is, you'd want to trim it off. She's got quite a bit of hair on this side. So we're going to take some, we've got a nice little medical kit over here. So we're going to take some really, really, really tiny medical scissors and we're going to trim just a little bit of this hair off because when it gets infected, it gets in this hair. It's not really doing our job, so we're gonna get some of this. Okay. We just keep working. But you don't want you don't want to make sure you use the smallest thing you can because you don't want to get you don't want to get any hide in it. You don't want to make anything worse. But. All right. Now we want to not have pressure on that sore because that's what caused it. So what we want to do is build up around the sore with something take the pressure off of that sore. So what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to use something that you don't have to. You can use cotton balls, you can use um, foam, you can use whatever you have. We just have a whole case of this sterile gauze because we have a, we just retired a medical practice so we have lots of medical equipment that it's just sitting there, not being used for anything else. So we're going to use it for this, for a little rarity. And it also will help her, as far as the ster steril is, sterility is concerned, she'll have less chance of getting um, infection. infection. Yes. And we're also going to take some, just, just to make her a little bit more comfortable right now, we're going to put just a couple of drops a prescription strength lidocaine on there. And in just a couple of seconds, she's going to not really feel much. So even though she's being good, she's going to feel much better. She's starting to get, she's starting to breathe hard. So she's yeah. starting to be nervous. Yeah, we don't want her to be nervous. So we're going to work, we're going to work on that. So we're going to cut this one in half some up above and some down below. Got sore. This. So that takes, when she steps on that now, that's going to have something to keep it from and I'm going to use a smaller. You can get this kind of stuff. This is called Bet Rat or in the doctor's office it's called Coban. So you can show them what it looks like. It's, a, it's just a self-sticking bandaging. And you can get it in different widths. This is um, this is one inch, and this is two inch. You can get it in three inch. We're going to see how the one inch works because you don't want to you don't want to have it where she can't move her leg in this part right here. So we're going to wrap this around here. Basically, this is just a hold the gauze in place. Okay, so there's one. That's the top. Hopefully we'll keep the sore off the cage floor. Yeah. And because it looks to me like that there's still not enough space to keep the pressure off, I'm going to do a little bit more creative work here. And I'm going to I'm going to make a couple of small strips here. 
and just kind of stuff it up in underneath the edge of the coban, just like that. Just to raise it up a little bit right next to the... This is all just kind of like you figure it out to make it fit your particular sword. So we put something here and here to hold her leg so that this won't be right on the bottom of the, of the cage. Now we've also made up our own special antibiotic. We're going to use a long sterile Q-tip here. This has a little bit of antibiotic cream in it that's just like Neosporin. And we put a little bit of honey in here. I don't know how many of you people know, but honey has a good antibacterial component to it. So we're going to put some of that on there to help it get well. Because rabbits like to chew on their bandages, we're going to try this and see if Rarity will tolerate it. She's got really big feet. So this will put up above her ankle. And then we're going to take some more of this coband. And we're going to try to keep the sock. What you doing there, on her foot with Coban. So we've got all three of her feet doctored up now. We've got the bandages on them. And we've got her socks on them. And I just used some of my daughter's socks that didn't have pairs. So that works out. So once we're done, we can just throw them out. I think she's all doctored up. And I'm going to show you her, her belly. I may have to bring her closer where she had that um, mastitis and we cleaned it. It's okay. So it had already ruptured. She lost a litter last week and so we had to squeeze all the nasty pus out and then we put some antibiotic on it as well. And that should heal up nicely now that it's not got an infection in there. Alright. Well if you have any questions about what we did um, please leave me a comment and pray for her that she heals fast, fast. And she's a good mama, so we're gonna take very good care of her. So this can happen to anybody's rabbit. It doesn't mean that you're not taking care of them. It doesn't mean that their living conditions are dirty because hers are not. She has a resting pad, so she has the ability to get off of them. I just think her situation may have been that she was overweight uh, she did get pretty big when she was pregnant, and I did notice for a good week and a half at the end of her pregnancy when she had 16 babies, she didn't really move much, and so that could have been the leading cause of this. So we're going to keep an eye on her, and I'll give you an update once she is progressing and getting better. I hope this helped you guys, and please subscribe, and leave me a thumbs up, and I will see you guys later. God bless. Thanks for watching. Sounds fun. Don't forget to subscribe.